<laughs> and we're back. Welcome back to the Four Against Podcast here on Nick Hall Comedy. I'm Nick Hall, joined as always by Josh Griffey. If you're listening on Apple Podcast, go ahead and leave us a rating and review. If you're listening on, uh, you know, YouTube or watching on YouTube, uh, I should say, click those like buttons and, uh, you know, leave us a comment. If you've got a four against uh, topic you want to hear us debate, and uh, you know what, we'll probably do it. And uh, you know what, if you want some new t-shirts, hats, uh, whatever, go to coachcampmurphy.com slash shop. Moving on. Bye, uh, bye, 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 bye. Bing. Uh, the Colts signed uh, Carson Wentz today. Uh, get, <laughs> golden against. <laughs> Let's just get right into this. He's awful. The warmest um, benches in the league, baby. Boy, oh boy. I can't <laughs> wait to win some playoff games with Nick Foles. You know what I mean? Uh, I, is there a rhyme or reason to this? I've been debating with my buddies all day. And, he's perennially uh, injured as well. Because I got two buddies that will just apologize and make excuses for anything because the Colts can never do any wrong and the Pacers too. Uh, and they're like, well, he didn't have an O-line. And so I presented them with facts <laughs> that actually last year, yeah. the Eagles, by stats had a better O line than the Colts. Okay. Like by pass blocking stats, they had sure. a like it's fact. And they're like, Well, okay, stat boy. And I'm like, <laughs> that's literally that's literally what they said to me. And I was like, Well you're just you're using rhetoric to make up things that aren't true to apologize for Carson Wentz being shitty and I just can't understand it. And they're like, Well he didn't have anybody to throw to and I was like, he had Alshon Jeffrey and, and Zach Ertz. Yeah. Like one of the best tight ends in a top Nice Ten. facts, Neil. De- yeah, and they're like, Tyson. they're like, yeah, but like Alshon wasn't that guy's like, yeah, yeah, he was like, uh, like last year when he was like a free or a couple years ago he was a free agent. You guys were also like, we should get Alshon. Yeah, right. You all said that. Like, if he was like, on the Colts, they'd be stoked <laughs> yeah. for sure. And so, like, I've been debating that all day, and I just keep. I, so I, I used your line. Yeah. The, uh, you know, John Adams once said, "Facts are stubborn things." Yeah, they are. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, it just seems like revisionist history that you guys are making all this up when it's just, when really the fact of the matter is that Carson's just not very good. Like, no, it doesn't seem that and way. And he was dead last in QBR last year and the yeah. year before. Yeah. And they're like, well, that was just a made up stat. I was like, yeah, but he was dead last. In How the was it ma- a made up stat? <laughs> yeah, like, you might not think it's the. Most I was like, ambitious. okay, if he was in the middle, I'd be like, okay, there's leeway. You could say, yeah. it's a, it's an imperfect stat. But when you're dead last, you're dead last. Like, and imagine who's in front of him. <laughs> yeah. Like all the yeah. guys in front of him. <laughs> like Mason a, Rudolph. Yeah, like, like, you're like Jay Fiedler probably had better <laughs> QBR when he played. You know, like Damon Heward. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, I think this is the weird, this is where the I'm going with my gut thing in football is weird for me. Right? We talked about it. Look, we need two now. Yeah. We need this. We don't yeah. need point. Like weird shit like that. And everyone's just like, Frank Reich will get him back. And I'm like, dude, that was a while ago. No, he won't. Well, that's like when in every Jurassic Park sequel, they're like, we'll be the ones yeah. to go make this work. And you're like, you're just going to get well, people eaten. Like, it's well, over. They're like, well, that's the thing. They're like, they're mad at me for like stats. Yeah. But they're like eye testing it. Yeah. As if they're NFL scouts. I'm like, what qualifications <laughs> do you have to eye test any athlete? <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, and, I once put But on you're pads. mad at me for pre- presenting <laughs> factual information while you're eye testing. Well, I'm just saying, I think, in theory, like, I think yeah. he could be good here. Like, why? One of your buddies is like, his wife is hot. That's a good yeah. sign. <laughs> He's actually had a better setup in Philly and wasn't good. Like, yeah. by the numbers, technically. Yeah. And technically. Well, I thought the Colts, too, because you guys have a ton of talent. Yeah. I thought you guys were going to go get someone good. I yeah, I was really hoping like, so. Like, I thought you guys were going to bet yeah, the we farm gotta, on Deshaun. Yeah, we got to. Uh, uh, man, I wish we would have. Like, just be like, give us. Deshaun, give in my opinion, Deshaun is, is the closest you're going to get to Mahomes. Oh, he's great. Deshaun is a great quarterback. Well, he's in. A, I know. Obviously, stats aren't very popular now. Yeah. Like, if you look at his stats on a legitimately one he's of the shittiest really good. teams that's in the league, yeah. he's amazing. He's an incredible. Amazing yeah. quarterback. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I don't know. Does this make you feel? Uh, I'm nonplussed, to say the least. <laughs> You're doubling down on your Andrew Luck conspiracy, hopefully. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i got to start taking some Uber rides, see if I can get some inside info from... <laughs> people around town you know yeah, i'm gonna start walking around with bottles of rose and hope <laughs> to run into mrs luck yeah <laughs> like tell me the deeds right yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Win- winner is reenactments and well we plus the eagles came out and they're like yeah it's not like we didn't think like carson was talented but like mentally we didn't think he was salvageable anymore and i was like well that's great 
That's wow. That's good. That's like what they said. Yeah. His brain is so, weak. And Frank was like, I'll turn it around. Fuck him <laughs> Look what I did with Andrew Luck. <laughs> I ran him right out of town. That, uh, yeah, I mean, that sucks. It's weird because I'm in the same thing where, like, every season I'm just like, Ben, please retire. And now Big Ben came out and he's like, I don't care about my salary this year. Right. Almost like he'll play for free. And it's like, I would rather you just be gone. Right. Yeah. Like, all you do is just talk shit. You always do this every year for, like, the last five years. Like, it's time for us to just suck and move on yeah and i know everyone's like oh you had a great run last year it's like it's over when you when it that's the hard thing with a quarterback is when it's over it's over it's over and i think carson wentz is over yeah like he'd be a great backup yeah oh for sure like a guy to have off the bench like okay we're not totally fucked yeah we got an okay guy on the bench (laughs) come in for three games and try not to get hurt go try (laughs) to nick Foles one yeah (laughs) (laughs) you literally have the blueprint the guy that took your shit i was like the greatest thing that carson wentz did in his whole career was watch someone beat tom brady (laughs) You know what I mean? It's like that's like his main accomplishment in his career. Is that He's he, like, I am awesome at holding iPads yeah, and Gatorade cups. He had an official like Philly sock hat or Eagle sock hat and sweatshirt on. Yeah. While somebody beat Tom Brady. <laughs> like a team issued sweatshirt he was wearing. He's a fancier ball boy. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was paid know, for by the league, the sweatshirt. It was great. I yeah, mean, was... you didn't give up a ton though. So I mean No no no. I, and, and QB's and, valuable enough. Yeah. It's, you're a gambler by nature, right? Yeah. You, you take the long shot more often. And that's you, what you like it is. It's a role that, like, Frank Reich is pretty much gambling his, his, his job on this. Yeah. Because it was his fucking call <laughs> to get him in here. Well, the other question so, is, like, who would it have been if not? You're just going Brissette? With that said, time to start looking at new head coaches because... <laughs> Because I'm betting the under on this one. They'll probably just yeah. promote Carson to head yeah. coach once he fails yeah. at QB. <laughs> yeah, Frank, yeah, Frank's on the wrong side, I think. But you know what? I don't have a silver lining. I'm fucking, yeah. If uh, only you guys would have gotten the goat. I guess we should have held out and seen if uh, you guys get rid of Roethlisberger or not. <laughs> I, I'd yeah, rather have that bed. fat bearded rapist than fucking Wentz. I mean, occasionally he huck him, chuck him footballs. Sometimes. Yeah, like, occasionally he'll show up. For Sometimes. Him, him, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> So go Colts, go Colts, go Colts. Go All Colts. right. Um, <laughs> I thought it was the snow that'd be bumming you out, but instead it's Carson. Speaking of non-football players, <laughs> my first four against today. Okay. Non, just non. Uh, good athlete, just non-sports <laughs> guy. Uh, Andrew Boucher, Boucher. Four against Tim Tebow retiring from baseball. <laughs> I like that that implies that Tim Tebow is actively playing Played baseball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tim Tebow essentially was just a, a mascot for Jesus, right? Like, he wasn't, like, yeah. he wasn't really making, like, a legit hard yeah. run at the Striking sport. out for the Lord. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I think it's exciting uh, as guys who do podcasts and content. Uh, that, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. He'll be back to tell us why athletes uh, should just play for the school and hurt themselves Correct. and not want money. So. Correct. Yeah, more Tim Tebow takes, I think, is mm-hmm. probably good for guests like yeah. us. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm golden against pretty much any double-A player having a retirement announcement. <laughs> That's a good point. First of all, <laughs> starting there. And then I'm double golden against Tim Tebow having a formal announcement that he retired from baseball <laughs> because he was a, he was a fucking sideshow is yeah. what he was. He was a sideshow. Yeah. And he and he took jobs from real guys that were fucking working yeah. their whole life to do it. And I fucking hate Tim Tebow. Yeah. I hate him. Well, that was the lesson that Jesus yeah. taught us first, right? Is when you're rich, keep taking yeah. shit and don't spread out. Oh, I'm throwing stones the, at him. Hello. I'm throwing stones at him. Oh, yeah, for sure. And he's throwing some. I don't care. He threw some. <laughs> he threw some. They didn't hit yeah, their intended yeah, target. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I think. I mean, I I think I'm pretty well on record. I'm pretty much against everything Tim Tebow. Yeah. Except for like shirtless shots, yeah. like that's impressive. Good well, for you. Well, like I, I just never get like he he threw like one two yard jump pass in college, and they're like, oh my god, he's going number one. Yeah, and I was like, well, no, have you have you seen him actually? Like, yeah, he's a good running back. Probably be a good tight end if he wanted to. But have you ever seen him like play quarterback? Do we know where he was when Hernandez yeah. killed that? Yeah, guy? like he's, we don't know. He's pretty good in the triple option, <laughs> which for a hundred years has never worked in the NFL. Yeah. Like, even Otto Graham threw the ball yeah. back in the day. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like six yards, but he threw it. But this is what – I think my hatred from him stems from of the guy who couldn't throw the ball and was the worst. Yeah. The worst. Just 
fucking daggered my heart and probably the uh, most heartbreaking football moment of my life it was the worst coverage i've ever seen. yeah he though. threw like a three-yard duck that ended up becoming yeah. like an 80-yard touchdown yeah. at ot against the steelers it was awful that was one of those moments. i laughed pretty hard at that though i mean i'm sure i was like sitting there crying though and i was like fuck man i gotta stop joking about being a satanist dude there could actually be god <laughs> Like, what if there's actually God? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And it, it made me sad. It made me question my entire existence. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, my, oh my God, he's really good. And so they, like, kept him around. And then he wasn't. And then what, do you go to, like, the Jets or something? Yeah. Because they're going to turn him around. Because then he was just running around. Because the Jets are going to turn yeah. a quarterback around. <laughs> That's how you know there's not a God. <laughs> right? Is that you end up on the Jets? Yeah. <laughs> no, I've... Yeah, I just remember that was the training camp when he was running with the shirt off in the rain, and everyone's like, oh, fuck, this guy's for real. I just love that, like, (laughs) when he retired from baseball, he's like, I just can't do it anymore. What was it? Yeah, what was it? Which implies that he could do it at some point. Yeah. Which I looked, and he couldn't. I I looked it up. I did a little research. I just can't keep striking out twice (laughs) a game and pretending to run around the outfield. (laughs) Like, it's just not fun for me. (laughs) They were like, they were hit like an opposite field home run one time. Like, look at that opposite for power, and like, he can actually hit it uh, to the opposite field. It was like, no, he was just like two days late on that fastball, and it fucking <laughs> and it barreled. You know what I mean? He's six foot six, two eighty. Like yeah. if you barrel one, it's gonna go. Yeah. You know, I was like one ten in high school, and I hit some home runs. Doesn't mean I'm, <laughs> doesn't mean I'm fucking Babe Ruth. Yeah. You know what and I you mean? You did it without the help of the. Yeah, I had a metal bat, and I fucking barreled a couple. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's simple physics. Guys. Yeah. It is not a miracle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's just what sucks right is guys like tim tebow just are always going to take up oxygen yeah because his shit is not it has nothing to do with sports and up i promise you we're never gonna lose a game again and they're gonna write this speech on the wall even though it's a really stupid and dumb speech like they wrote that speech that he did at florida like it's like it's on a monument and it's one of the worst speeches of all time (laughs) like it's like if you it's like if you took the gettysburg address (laughs) And added some right? Florida. No, and just like <laughs> let some like thirteen year old Twitter phenom rewrite it in their words. Like that's what that speech sounds like. And Florida was like, oh well, I mean, it's either that or we put something up from Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> so, Whoops. <yeah. laughs> just a, it's just a body count meter. <laughs> it's just like those little stick people, and they're just scratching them out. Yeah. Uh, let me riddle you this though: Is it maybe not actually a great speech? Because. Could you imagine that I'm going to run through a wall moment for a virgin? <laughs> That's pretty tough. In a, in a college football locker room, be like, there's that guy not getting any puss. And we're all looking at the end zone, and there's a promise ring in the end zone. <laughs> and we're going to get it. That scoreboard is not going to have a chastity belt on us for long. We're opening it up, baby. We're going to get the whap. And we're going to a Jonas Brothers concert afterwards, and it's going to be fun. Yeah, I fuck it. He's a fraud, man. I, like I don't, that, I don't believe a word that he says. You know what I think is cool, though, is that Tim Tebow sexually right now, right? Because probably everyone who sees us or has ever seen us would rather have sex with Tim Tebow. For sure. It's the one thing I feel really good in my life right now saying, though, is that I bet I'm better at sex than Tim Tebow. Yeah, I know Beth wants to have sex with Tim Tebow. I'm, yeah, I mean, there, is a, there are times you see him and you're like, I'd wrestle. Yeah. Just to see. Oh, like, yeah. Like, test my power. Yeah. But that's the thing is... I think we're probably better at sex than him. Because remember how bad you were at sex when you were like 15 and started having sex? That's Tim Tebow right now. So he can have all the muscles and everything. Maybe. His body's eroding. But I also don't believe that he was like a virgin all that time. Oh, for sure. His high and mighty ass, for sure. I don't think so. For sure. I don't. I think he's a fraud. I, don't, I, I, mm. I mean, he might have been doing weird. He's going like to open up a mega. Tr- he's going to open up a mega church after this, and be flying around in private jets. That seems likely. And, yeah, and then talking to us about being humble. Yeah, like he's just gonna, he's going to be one of those guys that I fucking hashtag humble. Yeah. Well, he has to be hashtag humble because his wife will tell us how bad he is at <laughs> yeah. laying pipe. Like that's. I mean, that's the career path he's on. Do you? I feel like a guy like Tim Tebow though inherently is going to be bad at sex. Like I'm still going to stand by that take. Not only has he not had enough practice, but two, I just think guys like that aren't there for the cause. Yeah. Right? Well, the whole time he's like licking box, he's like, <laughs> sin, <laughs> this isn't glorifying God. <laughs> you devil. <laughs> the devil's wound. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going against any guy that reached double A and then had a press conference to re- announce his retirement or whatever. An official statement. 
Yeah, no, I, I'm just against everything Tim Tebow. Yeah, me too. I'm with you, though. If he becomes this, like, arch villain, like him and Joel Osteen, like, <laughs> form up, like, the Sinister Six or something. Guarantee like, he loves Joel Osteen. Guarantee Oh, it. for sure. Probably, probably more than his Probably wife. been on the jet with Joel, I bet. Look at the flight logs. Look at the fucking flight logs, dude. <laughs> we If we learned anything, always check the flight you logs. You heard it here. <laughs> Unverified, unfounded claims. That's how we do I mean, you're a stat man. Yeah, I'm a you're, stat man. You're a stat man. <laughs> I'm a goo man. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I mean, sorry, but fuck Tim Tebow. Yeah, fuck Tim Tebow. Like, fuck Tim Tebow. Fuck okay. him. And I'm glad. The thing is, though, is like, now, at least he was embarrassing himself. Now he's like freed up to like. Well, I think it up. has a little bit to do also with like the. Because the Mets are kind of turning around. They're spending some money this year. They got some yeah. new, new management in there. And I think like the new manager's like, all right. <laughs> We're going to stop being the sideshow Mets now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, get, get Tim We want to be more Met than Jet. Get Tim out of here. And yeah. Then, and Tim was like, well, I'll just go get a job somewhere else. And like, no, you won't. <laughs> Not we, anymore. The ball Like, sport. we did it as a joke. Like, nobody else is going to do this. Because we were the Jets of baseball for so long. Hear, hear me out, though. What if he signs with Big Baller Brand? <laughs> and then him and LeVar get like a Facebook yeah. show. Could you imagine how good that would be? Yeah. So it's like they're doing sports stuff together, right? They can be like sports bro in it well, out. Well, maybe he could go play in the, that FCF, that new league, the fan-controlled football. Have you seen that? What the fuck is it's that? It's on Twitch. It's a Marshawn they Len- have a Twitch Marshawn on Marshawn Lynch owns a team. Richard Sherman owns a team. There's four teams, but here's how it works. So they, redra- <laughs> they redraft every week. So each what? Yeah, dude. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I need to hear more. Okay, wait. So check this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and these are real humans. Not yeah, video yeah, yeah. Games. This is, they, they play real games. So okay. like Johnny Manziel's a quarterback for one of the teams. But uh, uh, so what happens is each team gets they get to pick one keeper each team. Okay. That they get to keep for the, for the whole season, no matter what. Whoa. And then the fans decide two keepers for that team. And then every week, everybody else on the roster goes into a redraft. And they fucking pick new teams. But, like, the offensive line counts as, like, one player. Defense counts as one. And then it's just mostly the skill players that get redrafted. Like, the offensive skill players. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And the and. So are, is these, are these full football? Is this yeah, like but the fans like thing? the fans, like, pick the players. Okay. And the fans also on Twitch get to call the plays during the game. They select whether they want <laughs> Yeah, it's true, dude. <laughs> they, the fans... Call the call plays. the plays during the game. Yeah. So the coach is essentially just a Twitch producer. Pretty much. There's only one coach for the whole league, and then they have coordinators on the teams. Wait. Yeah, dude, this is real. I feel like you just exploded my mind, and we have a whole show still. To yeah. Do. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, yeah. I thought you knew about this. Yeah. This is real. This isn't like a five on five arena, like a it's big seven three on thing. seven. This is real football. It's seven on seven, fifty yard field, like arena, kind of. Okay. So like yeah. a lesser, but still. Yeah. And it's only on, it's exclusively on Twitch. But like, what if like your fan base is, let's say you have like a racist fan base and they just keep calling across the middle. Well, here's the thing. Whoa. So I, I, what I read was, so they like each play comes up, they're like run or pass. Okay. So all the fans, they pick run or pass, right? <laughs> right. And then popular vote wins. So like if 80% say pass, then it goes to a pass menu. And then they have, yeah. And then they like have, the and then they have four options. They pick one of four plays on the pass menu. That feels like it would be now, awesome to be a defender. I don't know if like the quarterback is just like fuck that. We can just audible out of this. <laughs> I don't know. Johnny Manziel's like but, four whole plays. But <laughs> like each user that fucking votes, right? So if some dude just like they get clout each time their play is successful. So the like users if you, get clout. so if you pick. Pass play number two and it fucking hits like they bomb one thirty yards or something or they score, then you get like upvote points. So then like Whoa. as you accumulate those, your vote starts counting for more. Like you you get more of a weighted vote. <laughs> and at the end of the season, the and champion mark gets my to coach words, the Texans. <laughs> at the end of the year, some kid off Twitch is gonna get hired to fucking coach one of these teams because <laughs> they're like, look at his cloud score. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. I didn't mean to fucking open that can of worms. I should have fucking made it a topic because I thought you knew about this already. I've I never thought, heard of this. I thought I was late to it because I think they've already played like two games. I I, learned, I read about it like two days ago. And I was like, what in the fuck? Yeah. 
I, I can't believe that anything you just yeah. said is true. That it's is true. insane. It is insane. You should look it up after. And you Everybody just slipped Johnny up. Manziel in there on yeah. me, too. Like, holy shit. He's QB in one of the teams. Yeah. He was like, and then he, he said that uh, he goes, he goes, I'm not using this as like a platform to make a comeback. And like, everybody's like, yeah, we know. Everyone's like, no shit. Yeah, you're not coming. <laughs> you're, not com- you're not coming back, Johnny. It's okay. You, no didn't have to, you didn't have to say that. You didn't have to say that. Guy who still goes to college frat parties. No shit, you're not coming back. That's cool, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. And then every Thanks other, for that heads up. Yeah, every other player you don't know is like, I'm also not using this as a platform <laughs> for a comeback. All right, that's all. Yeah, that's all. I'm golden against uh, Tim Tebow. Uh, now, Tebow going yeah. into something like I'm that. I'm for the fan-controlled football, though. I'm going to look more into it. I might watch it Saturday on Twitch. I don't know. I feel like we need to stream one of these games. Yeah. We got to get on this. We could live stream one. Yeah. See if we can pick the plays and get some oh, fucking clout. Fuck. I love that. That my head We should going. register and pick plays. All we right. We should. All right. So now we've got to get in yeah, on this. Yeah, now we're in on this. This might replace arm wrestling and world's strongest yeah. man is my favorite story. Damn it. Okay, I'm in. All right. So we're in. All what right. do you got? Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going with a uh, Jaro or J Ro. J A R O. Jaro. Jaro. Jaro? Yeah. I don't know. So he says four or against, and I love how specific this is, cutting off a mole with scissors <laughs> <laughs> instead of going to the dock. What? <laughs> uh, well, Jaro, uh, how many have you done so far? Like, cause I feel like I told you. You don't ask that question unless yeah. you've done it, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. He has definitely cut a mole off of his body while hearing our voices. That's. <laughs> I hope that he f- froze it first. Was what? Isn't that a thing? Don't like an like, ice cube? Don't they like freeze moles off or some shit? Well, if you go to a doc. Anyway, like, I'm against any self-performed surgeries or medical procedures. Super pro. That involve uh, sharp objects. I'm like if you yeah, it's, golden for <laughs> this is my first golden I've done in a while. Note to self: Do not try anything at home that we discuss on this podcast. Not a medical expert. Yeah, I have no disclaimer. <laughs> We're just spitballing. But anyway, here. why are you for it? I do stuff like this all the time. <laughs> and I think it's, well, one, I just, I hate hospitals in general. Yeah, me right? too. I hate they doctors. Me sick. Hospital, I yeah, hate yeah. the smells of it. Yeah. I hate the waiting around. I hate all the fucking paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. Doctors are just annoying. Like my doctor today, like, fuck all doctors. Sorry. Not all doctors. You know what I mean? Like in a fun sense. But like, yeah. So you, have you ever had skin tags? You know, those little like. They're like little tiny scrotums yeah. that pop up yeah, in yeah. places where your fabrics rub. Yep. I do that all the time. The problem is I've never used scissors, but what I do is I twist them. Oh. Right? I twist them and get them real taut, and then I use fingernail clippers to oh. snip them off. That just feels awful. I don't know if it hurts. Well, but it, it doesn't really hurt it much. It seems to feel awful. Because you twist it like a little purple nurple until it's like <laughs> it looks gross, right? And then my wife caught me doing it one day. <laughs> and of all the shenanigans, that's the closest. I was like, fuck, she's going to divorce me because <laughs> she saw me fingernail clipping skin tags off of myself. And I, it's not like I have like 50 skin tags, but you'll have one pop up every now and again. You're like, yeah, I'm going to handle this. It's about to be tank top season. <laughs> I just pictured like <laughs> you being an actual doctor and like someone coming to your office like oh, the skin tag. <laughs> And you're like, no problem. And you just start twisting it more. And then you clip it off. You're like, have a good day. Yeah. And it just feel like you're wasting my time with this, get, you puss. Get the copay on the way out. <laughs> well, no, it's like, you know, I had a. Or what if you went to a doctor and he did that? And you're like, see, I told you, Amy. Yeah, that's science. <laughs> well, no, they do that all the time where they just say, like, I remember when I broke my tailbone. Right. So we were at an Airbnb for a yeah, gaming yeah. tournament. Just all my friends are puking out of the Airbnb. It was like an obscene scenario, right? And we get to the, and it's a keypad. We're trying to like fucking do the keypad. No one can get it either. We're too drunk (laughs) and we don't remember. Yeah. And I was like, guys, I can jump the fence. Like, obviously I can jump this six foot tall fence. (laughs) And so I was like, all right, maybe I can. I was like, someone give me a quick boost. (laughs) Yeah. Like a little boost. Like just hold your hand. The old hand cup. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I will propel myself. So don't move. Just stand still. Right. So as I go to jump, my friend decides, oh, he needs help. Fucking the old heave ho. And I ah, I rolled over sideways and my ass came down and hit this fucking Ooh, yeah. like ceramic pot. Yeah. Just snapped my tailbone. Yeah. Right? Like my ass. Ah, 
start just screaming, crawling Ooh. in, woke this guy up, scared the shit out of him. You were a little butt hurt that yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> well, then I had to drive home six hours to L.A. Just every oh. And Amy's like, you need to go to the doctor. I was like, no, yeah. I refuse. I'm and she's like, on. what are you talking about? And I was like, what are they going to do? Just give me a fancy diaper? And I was like, <laughs> I'll handle this myself. And then I was like, if I can't walk in like two months, we'll go to the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. So I just toughed it out. Yeah, oh yeah. I just toughed it out for like six months. Yeah. Because you're, I mean, that's the thing. I think we're such pussies now. Yeah. Everyone's like, we got to do, uh, I, just go to the doctor for I did everything. the exact same thing. I didn't jump over a fence, but I fucking, I was at uh, our buddy uh, Jeff's house. Yeah. And I was, we were a little drunk. <laughs> and I was like, I want to see if I can jump down eight of these stairs. <laughs> I've done that before. And so I just did it and I fucking bit it. Yeah. And then I laid on the couch and it, dude, it was so loud. It was like three in the morning in his house. So I went and like, cause I was sleeping on the couch. And so I just went and laid on the couch, like with my hands behind my head and Jeff comes right down. And he's like, what was that? And I was like, no, what? Nothing. And he's like, I for sure heard like a loud bang. And I was like, yeah, I jumped down your stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, oh, yeah, that was the same thing. Like for like a month and a half, I had to like ride like this in my car with oh, my yeah. butt up and shit. Yeah, yeah. It was the worst. Super uncomfortable. Yeah. Horrible yeah. pain. But you're like. My wife, I'm like, what are they gonna do if I, if you take me to the hospital? Besides, charge me a bunch of money. She's like, well, they can't really do a lot. Yeah. And she's like, you clearly aren't gonna need like massive surgery. I was like, boom. I need to. And have, then I went back to cutting skin tags off. We need to have Jeff on this pod because a of all, he would just be amazing on the pod. But he, he tells that story really well. We get calls for guests. Yeah. <laughs> that I gotta tell a quick. <laughs> that trip was the weirdest thing too because we showed up late, right? Yeah. And so there were like six of us guys in one Airbnb and we had to wait for someone to get off work. So we showed up late. It was in Sacramento. We showed up. We walked in and like two of the beds we were promised were futons, right? Hell yeah. We walk in and they are demolished. Fuck tons. Like is what they all are. the way demolished. Yeah. yeah. But like it was all dudes. So like no like uh-huh. sexy stuff. Demolished. And the two mattresses are making some form of rain. <laughs> and I walk in and these dudes are just having hardcore wrestling tournaments. <laughs> None of them are in shape or tough. It's just gamer dudes. I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? And they're like. We were bored and started drinking. We had to like, I, I was like, are you drawing? You had to get this? energy out. Yeah. And I was like, well, this sucks. It's two in the morning. I want to go to bed. And they're like blackout drunk. All of a sudden we had a guy who like had a lisp, right? And I yeah. hear, Jesus Christ, Marlon, what are you doing? <laughs> like, oh, <what?" laughs> so I ran into the bedroom because I'm sleeping on the floor, right? My friend Marlon, I should probably should have used his name, whatever. He got so <laughs> drunk. They, him and this other guy, Nathan, were sharing a bed. A little tiny girl's bed. Because <laughs> this is someone's actual home they were in. And Nathan was like, I was promised a bed. I'm sleeping in a bed. <laughs> and Marlon was already in there drunk. So he slept in there. Marlon got up, couldn't find the bathroom, right? Yep. He pulls the drawer open yep. on this little girl's dresser and pisses right in the dresser. And I've never heard of this in my life until this moment. Yeah. Where people just think they're in bathrooms and start pissing. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, I've done the dream where you think you're yeah, pissing yeah. in a dream and you piss your pants. Yep. He pissed on this girl's, like, dresses. Yeah. And Nathan's just like, dude, that's crazy. He's like, yeah, put yeah. your cock away. And so we're sitting there. I was like, this is the fucking wildest thing. <laughs> Our guy who's a lawyer, right? He had, like, the deposit. He's furious. You know, my friend Ronnie's just sitting there making fun. He's like, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> so we're all laughing. We go back to bed. An hour later, I hear a clattering in the kitchen. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I walk in the kitchen. Ronnie's in there with a butcher knife <laughs> pissing in the oven. <laughs> and I was like, what is happening? With the old butcher knife. Yeah, and I, I to this day, we all woke up the next morning. It's like, are we going to talk about this? <laughs> like, what's happening? And I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and then I broke my, it was a wild trip. But have you ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. Well, That's uh, something you should go to a doctor when for. When I was younger, I remember... <laughs> uh, uh, we, me and my mom, my my grand my grandparents went out of town, and so me and my mom went and stayed at my grandparents' house. I think my dad went with my grandparents because I think it was like, I think they had like a death on their side of the family. But it was like a distant relative that like only they knew or something like that. So me and my mom went and stayed at my grandparents' house while they were out of town. And uh, one night, my buddy stayed the night with me. We were like ten or eleven, probably. And uh, buddy stayed the night. And so my uncles are, I have two uncles that are way younger than like the rest of the, the, the brothers. Yeah. <laughs> and so they had just moved out of the house, like maybe a year or two yeah. before this young bucks. And so one of the new <laughs> guest rooms was my uncle's old room and he had left his guitar in there <laughs> and it was a white guitar. And I, like, I'll never, <laughs> I'll never forget. My mom was sleeping in that room and I just hear this scream. Well, my buddy had slept, sleepwalked into that room and just started peeing in the guitar. <laughs> Yeah, my mother. mom's like, that's not the toilet. She's like, <laughs> just yelling, that's not the toilet. But he thought it was, 
He thought it was the toilet. Yeah, he was just like, (laughs) he opened the door. He opened the door and was like, bathroom. (laughs) I never. And then he saw white, and he's like, toilet, because it was a white. Yeah, I've never heard of that in my life. Yeah, that's insane. And like, you can't even blame that. We were like ten, so it wasn't alcohol really. He just did this, like, just like, yeah. God damn, I've never heard of that in my life. That's amazing. Not a bathroom. Yeah. See, that feels like you need an intervention. You can't just be walking around your house pissing on things. Well, I haven't seen that. There are kid. things you can cut off your body. Yeah, I haven't like, seen that kid since we were twelve, so he might still be doing it. He, I mean, I'm sure he is. I once don't know. you Start. Yeah. Let me ask you this, right? So I have a weird thing with my fingernails. <laughs> so every time I clip my fingernails, right? I don't know why, but I have a finger that gets like an infection on the side. Sure. Right, my wife's like it's because you cut them curved instead of straight or whatever, and I'm like my fingers aren't set to go straight. Like you still who cuts their fingernails straight? I don't. My wife's like you got to cut in a straight line. I'm like the fucking things are bent. What? Yeah, I don't. You get like weird rough edges. Well, that's what I said. And then you get the two little white triangles, and I'm like that's unseemly. Like what if someone wants to look at my my beautiful? Can't do that. Right, but she's like that's why you're getting these infections, and it drives her nuts because when it gets infected, she's like you need ointment. I'm like that is stupid, (laughs) and I fucking just stab it. Yeah. And, like, till all the stuff comes out. And then I have this, like, mangled, like, yeah. hole in the side of my head. I do shit like that all the time, though. See, I'm all okay with that kind of, like, self-care. But I'm not cutting things off my body. I'm against. That's technically cutting I'm against your body cutting open. things off my body. It's not a. That are not okay. fingernails or hair. Well, you're talking about, like, a skin tag. Or toenails. Or a mole. I mean, a mole feels harder because it's, like, on the. I guess moles protrude. But I don't think you're supposed to just, like, cut moles off. They could be cancer. Yeah, but I think like <laughs> I mean I, I don't know if that's a good argument. For I don't side. know. I mean they could be. It's weird. I don't think you're supposed to just cut them off though. They have like ways to get rid of moles. Like they you can like Well, it's like our friend Sam, right? He told me once like I was like I need to go to a doctor. I have a wart on my finger. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Idiot." <laughs> and I go, "What?" And he's like, "Everyone knows. Wrap your finger in duct tape." And I was like, <laughs> "What?" What? And he's like, "It deprives the warts of the oxygen it needs." And I was like, is that true? So then for like a week, I was walking around with like a fucking wrapped up pointer finger and the wart was still there. Yeah. And I was like, and he's like, you used the wrong duct tape. <laughs> and I, was like, right. Dude, I remember when I was a kid, people remember when people used to say that warts came from frogs peeing on you. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that because I believe it. I still kind of believe it. I still don't like touching frogs. Yeah, I know. And I think that's why. I think it's a subliminal. I don't want to get warts. <laughs> I want to look like a witch. <laughs> this was the worst medical thing that ever happened to me. When I was in high school, I had this thing where my hands were peeling. Yeah. Right? So my entire hand just was like peeling skin. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was insane how much my hands were just like disgusting. And all day like you've been rubbing them in Elmer's glue the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I mean it was yeah, or like candle wax, like a Ricky Martin video, right? It was loco. And so then all of a sudden I'm, I would just peel my skin off, and this doctor's like, "That can't happen anymore." And he's like, "You need to do this setup." So I had to wear these fucking Mickey Mouse white gloves. So all day, every day, I'd have to slather up and like and put medical grade on. like utter cream, yeah, and wear these fucking white cotton gloves to school, to high school. <laughs> High school, my dear. So it looks like I'm just walking around in cum socks. You look like a butler. Yeah, and then all of it, like, the, it's so greasy. Like, every time you try to touch a pencil or hand your homework in, there's, like, grease spot. And it was the, I mean, it was, like, the low point of my life. Like, I'd like everyone to think I was, like, the Toxic Avenger rather than wearing these fucking greasy-ass white mitts. And it just went away. It just went away. That's fucking wild. But, yeah, so it's, like, yeah. I'm super pro handling your own business. We don't always need these medical. Yeah, no, like I, yeah, I haven't been inside of a doctor's (laughs) office in probably a decade, at least maybe more. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. The last time I went to a doctor was, (laughs) I remember it was 2010. So 2011 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Cause as you, as you know, when I was younger, I had fucking, I had a, had a little cancer on the arm there. I had a little tumor. Mm hmm. And uh, like 10 years ago, I had like this, I had like a little lump on my ribs. It was like kind of similar. And so I was like, I still put it off for like six months because I'm an asshole. What are you doing? Well, no, because I was like, it'll probably, I probably like ran into something. It'll It'll pass. Yeah, it'll go. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. And it didn't. So I went back to the same doctor that had done my surgeries and shit uh, years before. And uh, it it turned, it was something totally non- Nothing bad. It's what yeah. it's called a lipoma is what it was. It's I mean, it happened. Nothing like, that happened. to But me. he was like, oh, I man. remember 
the disdain because this doc like he loves it like he did all my surgeries a great doctor uh but he was like how long have this been here and i was like i don't know i noticed it like six months ago and he's like you gotta be fucking like, <laughs> he, he was so <laughs> mad at me and that doctor like i got scolded in that doc he's like you know what you've been through yeah he's like why would you wait even a day and i was like i don't because you, you, you cost a lot of money, man. Yeah, and it's shameful. <laughs> I did yeah. that once. I was jerking off in the tub. I still like to jerk off in the tub. I thought it was weird. Like, it comes out like, it. Eh, never mind. Yeah. You know if you know. <laughs> the real ones know. So the anyways, I used ones. to jerk off in the tub, right? Like taking a bath or whatever. And all of a sudden, I felt a lump. And so I went to my mom, and I was weeping, right? Yeah. And I was like, well, I felt a lump. I know it. Like, I have cancer. I have to take it. I'm, like, crying. And my mom is, like, not worried enough yeah yeah like she's like fine josh like let me watch my stories and i was like what the fuck i'm gonna be dead in like two let months you don't even care story yeah so like begrudgingly it felt like she just didn't care at yeah. all i don't know if she just knew but they took me to the doctor and, they, and i didn't know i had to prepare so they had the hottest bustiest nurse Ooh. and this was like right when like that blink 182 album came yeah. out so like i was like oh my god so I had to sit there in this fucking thin sheet while this lady shaved my whole area for me. Hell yeah. And then rubbed this like cold ass like gel, like menthol gel yeah, on my dude. nuts and was massaging my nut with like a hand. And I was just sitting there like, well, now I have a heart on and no cancer. <laughs> and I was like, I actually it was so weird because like, I was just sitting there so embarrassed that when they said I didn't have cancer. I was actually <laughs> almost disappointed. Where I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> right? and I was like, Doctors, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Great yeah. for against. So I'm golden for. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm against cutting things on your body off. That's just not a good idea. And uh, even though that Josh stuff. is for it, we still don't recommend it as a whole on this podcast. Yeah, NickNoComedy.com <laughs> does not condone the cutting of anything off of your own body. Go to a doctor. Don't be dumb. Okay, I'm not qualified. Uh, this one. So uh, much of the country, <laughs> including the great state of Texas. Uh, covered in snow this week. Got a lot of friends that are getting fucked We got, we got close to a foot here. Yeah. Probably 10 inches, somewhere around there. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I drove, I was, uh, I was coming home from the store the other day and it was somewhat embarrassing, somewhat not, somewhat just made me laugh, <laughs> but almost everyone on my block collectively was shoveling their, their driveway. <laughs> At the same time, we haven't touched ours. Yeah. Like, not, not even any. So I took my little ass car, and I went to just, like, I drove by, like, four people shoveling. I went to pull in my driveway, and it got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so I backed it out. I got the wheels to spin. I backed it out. The guy that lives right across the street is, is shoveling and, like, watching me. I turned around in the next house's driveway and just parked on the road and walked <laughs> in. <laughs> While everybody was out shuffling. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't feel bad about it at all. So I guess, like, my uh, for or against shoveling driveways. I mean, I, I feel like this is, like, the, the making your bed thing. Yeah. Like, I see these dads in my neighborhood, like, the moment it starts snowing. They were in the middle of that snowstorm we got the other day, right? Where we got, like, the foot <laughs> in one day. Yeah, a ton. They're out there getting fucking snow. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're out there fucking shoveling and getting snowed on. Yeah, yeah, that's which is dumb. And I was like, it's like peeing in the wind. You're missing it. Yeah, you're, and I guess we're lucky we didn't have to go anywhere for three days. So I'm like, we're gonna take our chance. Yeah, I feel bad though because we have this buddy who buy, buys a snowblower and he's like, how are we gonna oh, use yeah. this three days a year? So he puts on his full firefighter shit and he runs around and does everyone's driveway. Yep. And it's gotten so bad. I'm Neighborhood so hero. Yeah, and everyone's like, we gotta buy him cigars and booze. I'm like, yeah, that's a great trade. Yeah. Like I'd rather. <laughs> But I felt back the other day when the storm was hitting, I was watching these other guys shovel their driveway. Oh, yeah. and my first With thought like a was regular like, shovel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, God, Jeff Peons. is really lazy today. Yeah. I'm like, he hasn't been over here to snow blow my driveway yet. Yeah. And so I just assumed he was going to do it. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Plus, everyone here has these like fucking tiny dick trucks. Yeah. I'm against, What's the point of I'm that? against it. Yeah. That's I'm against it. Like, because I like, well, the first thing I did. And this is what I do every time it snows a bunch is I looked at my weather app because it was like Monday and I was like, yeah. well, Thursday, it's going to be like 38. So it'll be, we'll have a clear yeah. drive <laughs> Thursday. We'll have a clear drive. I'm going to deal with this for three days. Easy park on the road. No big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, then sure. what I discovered was 
because uh, my dog is like a little. You guys have met Rhonda. Some of you have met seen Rhonda. Uh, little girl, she like she ran out into it the first time and disappeared. <laughs> like it's taller than her, and then she just ran right back in. Yeah, and she refused to go out. So I was like, well, I got to shovel like a path for her in the back a shit spot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I realized we don't even own a fucking snow shovel. <laughs> So we had, all, all, all that we had was a push broom. So I've got like a foot of snow somewhere. Like it's over a foot, like where it drifted and I'm just push brooming it as hard as I can. And I finally cleared a spot for her. And so now it's just like this circle in my yard with just dog poop all over. It's like an yeah. arena of dog poop. <laughs> oh God, dude. Yeah. The, yeah. the dog poop in the snow is a real thing. See, I probably have the, uh, the saddest where like one day I was like, I know I'm supposed to do this, but I don't want to. So I was like, can my leaf blower do this? I thought about that because we do have a leaf blower. It didn't work. It didn't. So yeah. I went outside and pretty much just like fucking money shotted myself. <laughs> I was like, fuck this. And I went back inside after yeah. like a second. Yeah. No, I, I hate snow shit. Yeah. And we don't get enough. It's like, just let it melt. I just hate the cold. Yeah, that's what I do. I just let it melt. Yeah. Or you just drive over it enough. Yeah. That it mats itself Turns down. into ice and you then you break I mean? your hip yeah. bone and don't go to the... Yeah, I'm against like, yeah, like I, you know, I, I almost had a... I almost like died... Yeah. Just yeah. push rimming that, you know, circle for my dog to shit yeah. in. So I'm not out well, there. Well, also, none of you are that important. Like, mm-hmm. if the gods decide that you can't leave your house, just stay inside. Yeah, no I did feel bad you. because I door dashed some food. <laughs> uh, food yesterday. Well, no. And and they have, like, the contactless delivery now where they just, like, sat it, set it on your doorstep. Well, you can't, like, you've got to walk through a whole fucking sea of snow to get to my doorstep. And uh, so I texted the fucking door dash driver, and I was like, hey, man. Just text me when you're close, and I'll walk to the edge of the driveway yeah. and just meet you there. And he didn't. He just, like, left it at the door, and I was like, then I didn't feel bad. I was like, that's on you, dipshit. That's on you. Yeah, bro. you know what I mean? I, I gave him an out. That happened the Because I did thing. feel bad. I felt genuine, like, for a minute. Yeah. Well, dude, we had the Amazon guy doing deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> and Amy's like, oh, that's so horrible. Who the fuck? Is getting all these things. And then the guy had to like walk up to her driveway. <laughs> He's like, What'd you order? I was like, I don't know, some fucking comic book. Like, I pre ordered some Frasier yeah. pop vinyls. Like, I, Frasier know, like, pop. I did. God damn. I got it. in day. I had a clock, a countdown clock on my phone because I was worried they were going to sell out of the pre orders for the Frasier pop vinyls. The fact that anything Frasier still sells out is just a fuck. It's just a stain on mankind. Oh, dude. I have a shirt coming. The uh, Frasier I'm Listening Tour, where they're all dressed like heavy metal rockers. Uh, oh, I'll that, get you one. You want oh, one? Is that one of the unfunny jokes they did on that How show? How dare you? Yeah. How dare you? That's, oh, okay, I, I won't hear it. this from a man who hates shoveling his own driveway. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a very Frasier behavior. I'm against it. I'm against it. Yeah. What do you got? I don't like shoveling. <laughs> all right. So, I think we're back to Andrew uh, Boucher for Boucher, our final oh, one. Two for Tuesday or Yeah, Thursday. he had some good ones this week. So, uh, for or against modern freak shows. Parentheses, anything on TLC. Oh, yeah, I'm for them. I'm the most for them. Yep. And it's weird because I feel like as these have gotten more popular, right? Like, we're also more sensitive as a society, and we're not supposed to make fun of anyone, right? Correct. Why do all of us watch Thousand Pound Sisters? Yeah. That show's not a, oh, let's give them love and support. To make yourself feel better at their expense. Yeah. Which is the same thing as making fun of someone. It was horrible. She's like, oh, I'm so excited. My date's coming over. But they cloak it as like, we're going to help these people. Like, no, you're not. You're just benefiting off. I think that's off their misery. Right. Oh, they'll get enough money. They'll get the surgery. And then we'll have him on a my skinny life show like Honey Boo Boo's mom or whatever. Why did I get fat again? Part two. Yeah. And I just knew because I'm watching it and I'm like, as the cameras are coming, I'm like, this guy's driving eight hours or whatever to come see the thousand pound sisters. Yeah. And in your heart, I was just like, I should turn this off. I'm like, this is scumbaggy. But you're not. But I didn't. Yeah. And I'm like, they chose. I'm for it. I'm path, still. I'm still mad that we only got one episode of Brother Husbands. Brother Husbands, not. There. I'm still <laughs> salty about that to this day. Okay. That we only got one episode of it. It's great. Well, I found the new one, right? So there's a new, a new news story I just saw. The first child was born that has three dads listed on the birth certificate so <laughs> impossible well i mean yeah, yeah. Stati- okay stat yeah, yeah. man i, love, right, I love that like we as a country have just like thrown science out we're just like we're no yeah. longer acknowledging science and facts we're just like no right well yeah. i mean i don't know what the point of like the names that. on the birth certificate yeah. is right like i had a dad on mine he gone like yeah. just left <laughs> like so yeah. fuck him you can put three other guys i love that we've thrown side. science to the wayside 
in favor of making sure that everyone feels good all the time. I mean, yeah. You know what sure. I mean? But yeah, so they're in a no, modern being sarcastic. threesome, I think right? that's ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah. They're, they're in a modern threesome. Sure. And they have a baby together. I didn't read how. Sure. And I, of course, I was like, this is one of those. You're like, I'm sure these comments will be very warm. Yeah, and accepting. until they Congrats break up and go court. to court and then like guy three is going to be like, fuck that. Let's do a test. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they just yeah. were rant. They did like the yeah. firing squad. One yeah. of them has blanks. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, <I> don't <laughs> but I was just like. I'd watch that show too, right? I saw a document, or I don't know if it's a documentary series on HBO. There's no I in threesome or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm kind of sick of this, like, yeah. shit that we've been hiding for a long time. Like, I want to see everyone's weird, freaky shit. No, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's weird, though, that it's become more popular, I feel like, and probably just because everything is repressed everywhere else. Well,. It, right? I love watching. I mean, come on, man. You see a train wreck, you, you stop and watch it. For sure. I'm in. Well, for sure. <laughs> it's sold for centuries. Train <laughs> Freak shows have been s- selling for centuries. Yeah. For <laughs> centuries. But what is... <clears throat> so here's the thing. <laughs> you could go watch like a Martin Scorsese movie, right? Like a good piece of art. Sure. I bet you nine out of ten people would go right past the Irishman. <laughs> To watch Thousand Pound Sisters. <laughs> that was kind of a freak show, though, with the way <laughs> the like face swap editing. With the nearest yeah, face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, yeah. Like if you if you walked up and side by side, it was like a fucking live performance, or uh, you know, the Irishman, or fucking fuck that, like Inception. Okay. You know, like was right there, and then a live performance of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Like, yeah. And you had 10 bucks since all you had. I'm giving it to Ripley's. Yeah, because like Inception, you're I'm like, like you know I what? don't believe I'll it. I'll go try to find that on Netflix. I'm going to watch this. Oh, yeah. Right now. For sure. Well, right I now. I used to watch the one with um, the Little People family. Yeah. Like, I, I think shows like that are, like, with the people who watch, like, there was that show, this quarantine fuck island or whatever. Yeah. Where it's like, look at all these people with ass well, and, and a, huge tits, like, yeah. trying to fuck. I'm like... That's not interesting to me at all because that's just what hot yeah, people they're just get to do. Stupid, yeah, yeah. Now if you say, "Look at this couple who's like two feet tall, trying to like raise a family yeah. and shit," you're like, "That's way well, more interesting." Well, that's the to thing. Me. So I'm against like people exploiting them for money. But it's all exploited. But now right? that they have agreed to and it's on, like I'm still gonna. Wa- I'm for watching. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Sure. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's. Because there's no version of Does that. Does that make me a not, bad person? Yeah. Probably. Would those but two so do millions of other shirt. things. Would they have the show if they weren't a thousand pounds? No. 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 Would Honey Boo Boo have had a show if Child if, Protective Services yeah. did their job? No. Yeah, if they were like 300 pounds, it would just be called like closed me. circuit TV <laughs> at any Walmart in yeah. America. Josh you know Griffey's what I mean? life, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like us, that just be called us. That that's what a us would have been. Yeah, this is a show about three hundred pound people walking around. Sure, man. Yeah, I mean, I think I I don't know. Yeah, like I watch a lot of that shit. Yeah, I don't feel great about myself. I don't though. either, but I still watch it. Yeah, yeah. What's the? I don't feel that bad. Seen about a show where you're like, this is too much. I can't. I can't do this anymore. Has any show ever pushed you to that point where you're like, wow. Like- not, no, not, well, like, I've gotten mad at shows and been like, yeah, I'm not watching, it's stupid. But I yeah. don't think any show has ever been like, that's too much. You know a weird one for I don't me? think I've ever felt that way. <laughs> this is super I weird. I don't know. But do you remember there was a show, they used to take, like, shitty old celebrities and put them, like, Greg Brady was on Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and he got all buff and fucked this model girl. D-list. I was like, oh, man, I remember that. It was on Some VH1 like, yeah, or something. Yeah, it was yeah, wild, yeah. right? Danny Bonaducci was on there. Well, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Because they had one where Bonaducci like lost his mind. I think he was like punching a wall. Celebrity or, or something like yeah. that. Is that what it was called? And he skateboarded, which I was like, that's extra pathetic. I'm yeah. like, he's like 60 years old skateboarding. Like, what a sad life. <laughs> and then he skateboarded to a place at a Gatorade bottle, just got like a vodka. <laughs> yeah. Dumped it in and just fucking pounded it. <laughs> Housed it. And I think he started smoking and I was like. That is the saddest thing. <laughs> See, I disagree. I, well, no, because I'm like, I've been that guy, minus the skateboarding, right? So I know exactly where he's I at. I don't have the space. balance for it. Yeah, and you're like, the thought that when I was that guy, just like, fuck this, that someone's like getting a camera on so all these other people can fucking laugh in my face. That moment with Bonaducci <laughs> really fucked me up, and I didn't watch reality TV for a long fucking time after that. 
right? Yeah. But like, it really bothered me, right? Like, because there's that great documentary you watch documentaries all the time. Oh yeah. Uh, so you may have seen it, but the uh, the decline of Western civilization. Probably. Where they were talking about like the eighty hair metal guys and oh, like, yeah, yeah, morality yeah. and whatever. And that guy's in the pool on the floaty, just fucking pounding a vodka. Because she's, I think the question was something like, "Do you think this is good?" And he's like, "Do you think this is good?" <laughs> and just fucking chugs it. Yeah. And it's not fun like Animal House. You're just watching. You're like, "What a fucking loser!" <laughs> like I feel horrible for this guy. It's like ivory pool or whatever. Well, I remember that show with the Bonaduce because like uh, he kept like fucking degenerating. Yeah. And then like they had the episode where he was going, he was going to go to rehab. Yeah. And so everybody was like, really like, oh, good for you, Danny, and like all oh, this. And then like his last confessional of the night, he's just fucking shit housed. Yeah. <laughs> shit housed. It's not going away party. <laughs> and he goes, you just can't go to rehab sober. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Fuck. and I was like, that's actually a pretty good point, man. Like yeah. you might as well get it in one more time before I mean, you fucking. That's how I do meet it. Jesus, yeah, you know that's what I mean? How I do it. Yeah, but they got weird there for a while because there was him, and then they did the flavor flavor Brigitte yeah. Nielsen, the flavor of love. Yeah. I think it was called. Well, they were both on the show, and that's how that's what it spun off of from. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and it was just like because she they were on the D listed, and then Flavor of Love was where they had like that New York lady. Yeah. And then Brigitte Nielsen uh, came what in, was her and name? they were like, uh, man, I don't know. Yeah. I, I remember. I just remember New York or something. Yeah, but it was like it, it might have been New York. But you watch that show with Flavor Flav and Brigitte Nielsen, yeah. and like I've watched horrendous things on the internet, like horrible bad Same. things that I shouldn't. And that one also made me be like, Ugh. yeah, like I feel bad for these two. Like you know, what? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. And then all of a sudden you take a break and you come Flavor, back. Flavor, Flav. Oh God, <clears throat> they're just putting horrible shit on TV. I loved it though. Because he always had different clocks on each, and he gave yeah. the girls clocks <laughs> instead of roses to wear around their neck, dude. I mean, that's better than it a was Jeter gift badass. basket. That's pretty cool. Here's a novelty comedy clock. <laughs> <laughs> He's the fucking carrot top of yeah. romance. <laughs> I think her name was New York because she spun off a show, and I think they just called it I Love New York. I'm pretty sure. Very clever. Well thought. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it got bad, man, because I remember doing, there was Hoarders. That was like a fan. Yeah. But when they did Animal Hoarders, yeah. I was like, this is, I can't. Intervention was a bad one. That yeah. That used to get me. I they think it's weird because, like, like, I don't feel as bad for drug people. Yeah, but, like, just the way they, like, would, yeah. you know, herd them into these rooms and then Dude. just, like, attack them. Yeah. I don't well, know. Well, you should feel bad for them, yeah. right? But at the time, we didn't think about like, it. Like, I don't as, think like, if you problem. asked any, like, <laughs> any, like, actual psychologist or so- sociologist, whatever, <laughs> Like, they would be like, you know what? Trick them into going into a room, bring everybody they know, and just tell them why you hate them. Like, I don't think anybody, I don't think any real doctor would recommend that. But, man, it makes for great TV. Yeah. Like, half the journey, you're just like, how are they going to trick him into getting into this fucking Radisson, into this Radisson conference yeah. room? They're probably addicted because of past trauma. What's the best yeah. thing we can do? Oh, your family sucks. Yeah. That's why Burn you... Burn down their support network in uh, front of them. Yeah. Oh, your family's a bunch of assholes. That's why you turn to drugs. I get it. I get it. He's yeah. just like, you know what? I actually feel pretty confident about the choice. Well, like, half of them were like, it was their family agreeing to the TV show, and then they'd, like, get the... The people that were actually like, addicted to the drugs were like, I don't want to be on TV. Yeah. Like, I know that I'm like, this sucks. You know what I mean? Horrible. Like, I don't want to be on TV. And the family's like, no, 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 it's no, 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 no it's for your good. Yeah. It's for your good. And we want to like, help you, yeah, but, but also but, destroy yeah. your yeah. life because you'll be Googled forever. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's it's a bummer. That one man. was kind of hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, like the animal hoarders, there's just a lady who's like so depressed. Yeah. They they found like a fucking liquefied cat under her couch. Yeah. And she's like. I've been looking for snuggles. I've been looking for And I was like, this is the worst. I was like, pull her out of there yeah. and light this house on fire. Like, what yeah, it's over. This? It's over. But I, I you can probably just leave her in there. In us, man. We like that shit. Yeah, though. you could probably just leave her in there, though, and just light it on fire. <laughs> you got to give her a chance. It's all, no, it's all the way over at that give point. Give her one of those tiny houses. It's all the way over. Yeah, and then she's going to fill it up. But it'll, it yeah. can't have as much. It's still going to be You'll still be able to find sparkles there in There will tiny still house. be a dead cat in there. <laughs> cats uh oh yeah. yeah i i hate that i like it so i am i'm i'm for against it. the exploitation of people for money but if it's there i'm gonna watch it yeah absolutely. i hate that about myself yeah. but you know what i can't help it i'm not a it good is man what it is i'm not an expert it's just who i hey, am that's it uh <laughs> i don't know what we, what we have uh i'm so bad at doing the recaps man <laughs> 
That was like an hour ago. I know. Cutting things off your body. Cutting off your body, I'm against. You're for. Yeah, I'm for. Tim Tebow's retirement press conference, uh, (laughs) away against. Yeah. Shoveling driveways, against. (laughs) And then... uh, Freak Show TV. Freak Show TV, I'm... Four. four Four-ish. Very four. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, guys, go to CoachKidMurphy.com slash shop, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.